Have you ever scrolled through YouTube shorts or TikTok and come across those short storytelling videos? The ones that instantly grab your attention and keep you watching till the end. You've probably seen channels like Wild Jokes, Plump Corgi, or Reddit Family Tales. The channels I just showed you all post short stories, sometimes inspired by Reddit, sometimes by real life experiences. And they're often paired with simple visual backgrounds like gameplay, text, or even everyday clips. What's interesting is that these creators don't rely on big setups or even appearing on camera. Their focus is completely on storytelling, keeping it relatable, smooth, and easy to follow. And that's what makes people stop scrolling and keep watching. So in today's video, we're going to learn how you can create similar storytelling videos for your own channel using an AI platform called Tisa, which you might have already heard about. We'll use ChatGPT to generate short story ideas and scripts, and then we'll switch to Tesa to bring those stories to life, complete with visuals, subtitles, and narration. By the end, you'll have a clear idea of how creators make these kinds of videos, step by step, from script to finish short, all without needing complex editing or recording setups. To get started, you simply need to search Tesa.app on any of your browsers, or you'll also find the link in the video description below. Once you're here, you'll land on Tessa's homepage. The first thing you'll notice is how simple and well-structured the interface looks. Basically, Tessa is designed to help you turn your written scripts into short, ready-to-publish videos for platforms like YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram Reels. Now, to begin, click on Get Started or Log In and sign in using your account. Once you're logged in, you'll reach to your main dashboard and this is where all the core features are located. On the homepage, you'll see some of Tezza's primary tools or features like Sora 2, Smart Cut Clips, Reddit Story, and more. If you look at the left-hand side, there's a neat sidebar that helps you navigate across the platform. At the top, you'll find Home, which brings you back to this main page. Below that is My Account, where your basic account information and settings are managed. Next, there's the My Videos section. This is where all the videos you create using Tessa will appear, sort of like your personal project library. Then comes My Voices. This one's actually quite interesting. Here, you can add AI voices directly from Eleven Labs by clicking on Add a Voice. You can either add voice by voice ID or by typing the voice name. Below that, there's the Generate Videos section, which lists all of Tessa's main video generation tools again, like Smart Cut Clips, Streamer Clipper, Reddit story, and text story. Each one is focused on a slightly different kind of video format, and we'll explore one of them in a few minutes. So overall, the layout is pretty clean and straightforward. Everything you need is well organized on the left side of your screen. Now that we've explored the dashboard, let's move on to our first type of video, the Reddit story format. To begin, click on the Reddit story option from the Generate Videos section on the left sidebar. Once you do that, you'll land on a clean and simple interface. On the right side, you can see a live preview window, and on the left side, you'll find all the editing and customization options you'll need to create your video. The very first step here is the script section. You can either paste your own script if you already have one ready, or you can use ChatGPT as well to prepare your script, or use the built-in AI generator to create a new story based on your idea. If you're not sure what to write, Tisa also provides inspirational prompts right below that box which is helpful when you're brainstorming ideas. For now, I'll select one of those suggested prompts just to show you how it works. Once you've added your idea, simply click on Generate, and Tezza will write a complete story or script for you, which will appear in the main text area, which you can edit as well, if you wish. Now, if you want to give your video that Reddit thread style look, just check the box labeled Show Reddit Thread Intro. When you enable this, the preview on the right will update, showing a Reddit-like post layout. You can also customize the title, username, and even the profile picture however you want. Add your own thread title, type your preferred username, and upload a profile picture to make it look unique. The preview updates live as you make changes, which makes it convenient to see how things will appear in the final video. Once the script is ready and your post layout looks good, click on Move Forward to go to the Style section. Here you can customize the visual style of your subtitles. Select a font, change the color, adjust the size, and tweak the stroke width. You can also add drop shadows or bold text to make your captions pop a bit more. After you've fine-tuned the text style, click Move Forward again to head into the video section. This is where you'll choose your background visual, the clips that will play while your story is being narrated. 
you'll see a few video options like green screen, Minecraft, Trackmania, and Riders. Since we're aiming for something similar to the channels we explored earlier, I'll go with Minecraft or Riders, but you can definitely experiment. For example, Riders works great if you want something more dynamic and fast paced, or green screen if you want to place your own video afterwards. Once you've picked your background, click on Move Forward Again to go to the audio section. Here you'll find a list of available voices, each with a short description, like Adam for a recognizable, neutral male voice, or Sarah for a softer, friendly tone. You can preview each one by clicking the play icon, and once you find a voice you like, simply select it. But if none of these voices fit your style, you can also add your own voice from Eleven Labs, as Tisa is already connected with it, giving you extra flexibility to customize your narration. After that, click Move Forward one more time, and now you're at the export screen. Here, all you need to do is click Export Video, confirm your choice, and Teza will render your customized Reddit-style story. Once it's done, your final video will be ready to download. My parents told me not to look out of the window, but still I did, as she emerged from the dense forest. Before wrapping up, there's something exciting that Teza is launching soon, and it's especially interesting if you're into creating Reddit-style or story-based videos. Starting November 1st, Teza will be running a Reddit story creator campaign designed to support and reward creators who use the platform to make text-based storytelling videos. As part of this campaign, creators who participate can earn performance-based rewards, roughly the equivalent of 50 cents per 1,000 views when they share the videos they've generated through Tessa. To take part, you'll need to use Tessa's built-in tools to create your story videos and officially join the campaign from within the dashboard. And here's something that really sets it apart. Creators who choose a subscription plan also gain access to one-on-one -on -one mentorship sessions with Tessa's algorithm experts. These sessions are meant to help you understand audience patterns, optimize your storytelling approach, and improve your overall content strategy so you can grow consistently and get the most out of your creative efforts. Tessa's goal isn't just to help you generate videos, it's to help you build skills, insights, and strategies that make your creative journey more impactful. And before we wrap up, there's one more quick feature I'd love to show you. It's called Sora 2. Sora is the latest video generation model from OpenAI, and it's currently one of the most advanced video creation technologies available online. The best part, it's already integrated right here in Teza. To try it out, just click on Sora 2 under the Generate Videos section on the left-hand panel. You'll see a simple interface with a prompt box and a few helpful tips on the right-hand side. These tips explain how to keep your prompts lighthearted, focused, and creative, since the model works best with short and clear descriptions. For example, here I've entered a simple prompt, a boy dancing in the middle of a family function, and everyone is loving his dance and clapping. Once you've written your prompt, simply click Generate Video, and Teza will begin creating your video. You can even see the progress bar in the My Videos section as the generation begins. After a few moments, your video will be ready, and just like before, you'll find it saved in your My Videos tab. A quick, fun way to explore the power of AI video generation inside Tessa. And that's it for today's video. We explored how you can create storytelling and short-form content using Tessa, from generating Reddit-style videos with built-in AI voices to experimenting with OpenAI's Sora 2 for visual creativity. If you enjoyed watching this walkthrough, try it out for yourself and share what kind of videos you're planning to create. I'd love to see how creatively you use these tools. Don't forget to drop a like if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. My parents told me not to look out of the window, but still I did. As she emerged from the dense forest, Emily stumbled upon a small, intricately carved wooden door hidden behind a waterfall. The door was adorned with symbols and markings that glowed softly in the fading light of day.